Hello. Hi. This is Melissa. And this is Lil Pine Nut. (laughs) (laughs) I'm legally changing my name. (laughs) To Lil Pine Nut. Lil Pine Nut. Just kidding. It's Kat. Um, So on our Pinocchio episode, we didn't know the difference between a cricket and a grasshopper. So I would like to formally educate ourselves and our listeners on the difference if you didn't know already. I which, love that you did research on this. What do you like think the difference is? Like, what do you, what do you think? It's probably something really stupid like their wings or something like that. That's a pretty good guess. <laughs> so crickets have longer antennae. And is that how you say that? Antennae. <laughs> Say like Forrest Gump says, Jenny, and (laughs) tenai. And grasshoppers, I won't let you bully me. And grasshoppers have short antennae. Is that how you spell antenna with an E? No, I think it's antennae. Okay. (laughs) Now we're just. (laughs) Now it doesn't sound like a word. (laughs) Ignorance grows. (laughs) Is that how you spell antenna? I wouldn't know. I I don't know either. Um, So crickets sing by rubbing their wings together. And grasshoppers their sing legs. by rubbing their legs together. I could probably do that because I don't shave my legs. Do you imagine? Can you imagine if I could like make music with my <laughs> leg hair? I mean, I did hear a noise when you <laughs> rubbed your legs together. <laughs> no cap, honestly. <laughs> also, we have some news. Yeah, so if you follow us on our personal accounts, we have started to stream on Twitch. Have we ever set our personal Instagrams on this podcast 1500 episodes in? Maybe at like the very beginning, but I don't think like recently. I don't think we ever have. No? Mine is at Melissa Van whatever. And I'm at Main Street underscore Mermaid. I don't think we have ever said that. I love that for us. Yeah. <laughs> But so we started streaming on Twitch. We are Van Girls. Yeah. So V A N G I R L S. Uh, yeah. So sometimes we'll stream together. Sometimes we'll stream separately. But it's there. Yes. If you like to watch people play The Sims and Animal Crossing, that's pretty much the majority of the content there. We'll probably play like Mario Party, Mario Kart and stuff like that too. But yeah, support us over there. Give us a follow. So we're our first stream is not is in the future, but when this episode comes out, it'll be in the past. Yeah. So (laughs) awesome. Woo! It went great. Nobody yeah. died. Um, the I cats didn't not. knock over the monitors or anything. <laughs> we did amazing. It was so much fun. I mean, we just, we slayed the game. Killing it out here. So this time we're here to tell you why Hercules is tragical. This is a good one. This is Hannah, our patron's pick. Hey, Mm -hmm. Hannah. Hi. And while we were watching it, she actually tweeted us that she was so excited that we finally picked her movie and we were literally watching it. It was a good time. It was crazy. Very ironic. Whoa. Whoa, so meta. I have some fun facts. Give them to me. Um, So a lot of them are about Hades. I guess there's a lot about like his character and the guy who voiced him. So literally half of these are about Hades. Okay. <laughs> but they're good. So it's fine. Uh, so the first one I have is the role of Hades is one of James Wood's all time favorite characters. So much so that anytime Disney needed him to reprise the character for any cartoon show, video games, etc., like Kingdom Hearts, whatever they needed Hades for. Um, He agreed to do so. When the film was about to go over budget, he offered to refund his salary and finish the film for free. That's how much he loved this character. And Disney was like, no, we're going to pay you. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that crazy? That's wild. This is one of my favorite fun facts. And I was really hoping that I would be able to find it. But I was going to add it even if it wasn't on 
IMDb, but Haiti says relax. It's only halftime at the exact middle of the movie. What? Yeah. That's like when they're at the gorge, right? Mm -hmm. Fighting the Hydra. (gasps) It's the exact middle of the movie. Isn't that so cool? Is that just like that just happened to happen? Oh my gosh, I don't that's know. So wild. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Whoa. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> uh, this is my last Hades one, but not my last fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> um, so Hades was scripted as a slow, menacing character until James Woods took the role and impressed the crew with his rapid fire style. Um, even after the script was rewritten, uh, Woods ad libbed almost all of his lines. Good for him. I know. That's true acting right there. Yeah. This one I found so interesting. Uh, the Spice Girls were originally approached to portray the muses following an invitation to sing one of the songs, uh, but they declined the offer due to scheduling conflicts. Could you imagine if it was just the Spice Girls? I just think, oh my gosh, the muses are so iconic. Right. Imagine if they were also the Spice Girls. But like, would they have redrawn them? They would have had to have, right? I don't know. I don't know if they had already like drawn them up yet or anything. That's crazy. Do you think the muses would have just been the muses, but like gender spice, baby spice, like as them? I am so happy, honestly, that it wasn't the Spice Girls. I agree. Because the muses are truly queens. Isn't that wild? Love them. My last one. At one point during I Won't Say I'm in Love, the muses sing while appearing as marble busts. The busts are in the same arrangement as the singing bus in the Haunted Mansion ride at Disneyland and at Magic Kingdom. What you mean? You know how like they have like the five heads and then one of them is like tilted off. The one oh. is like she's like holding her head. So it's literally the, you've never noticed that? No, that's cute. She's literally holding her I, head like <laughs> the one does. I guess, yeah. I just never put two and two together. <laughs> I just thought that's how all busts were. <laughs> just, just one broken holding itself. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Isn't that cute? Okay. And those are all my fun facts, which we get from the internet movie database. Or bad a if, if you're nasty. nasty. <laughs> also, we're going to start putting our recording fit checks on our TikTok because we never post on our TikTok. So that's what you're getting, folks. <laughs> Please follow us if you want to see the gorgeous fits we wear when we record this wonderful <laughs> podcast. So... We are in ancient Greece, people, and we are in a museum. I'm assuming it's a museum. Oh, yeah, I guess I never thought about it. There are statues and vases, and one of the vases is painted with the great Hercules and the muses, five iconic queens. They take over for the narrator and they sing the intro song, the gospel truth, which is like as soon as the do, 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 do. We are I, the muses. Like, I literally, like, I showed Kat. I was like, I have goosebumps. <laughs> Honestly, this is one of those movies that every single song slaps. I just love this movie so much. It's pretty good. I have to find that photo of me. I was Hercules for Halloween one year when I was, like, four years old. I think I have it on a hard drive. I just have to find it. I will try to find it and post it because yeah. it is so cute. You know what I'm saying? She is very cute. The muses are also, I just want to wear a toga, like, every day. Do you I, know what I mean? I I want to wear the crop the like crop top toga that's my vibe in high school i was in a service club and whenever we had any sort of event i was like let's be greek or roman because i i want to just want to wear a toga i just wanted to be in a toga i don't know if it was like animal house did that to me or if hercules did that to me both but i i want to live in a toga 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 Toga, 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 toga. Like toga. I, I don't know what it is about. I, I've never felt sexier than when I'm in a toga, just fully in a bed sheet, completely covered except one shoulder. <laughs> Sexy as fuck. There's something about it. It feels so right. Next Halloween, we're just gonna be Greek goddesses. Let's go for it. Oh man. Anyways, the muses are now that we're off the rails. <laughs> The muses are singing about how Zeus is uh, the most god of all the gods. <laughs> and I don't think that's the verbiage, but all right. The CEO <laughs> of the gods, president of the gods, and uh, he lives on Mount Olympus, which I want to live in. I just want to be in this movie. I just, for me, I love Greek mythology so much because it's so messy. 
Oh my gosh. We had a Greek mythology book growing up. It was like a whole bunch of stories of Greek mythology and it had pictures and they were like super gory and bloody. And it was like my favorite book as a child. I coveted that book. I wish we still had it. Anytime we read anything in school about Greek mythology, I was fucking jazzed. Right? I love that shit. Let's become Greek historians. Okay, great. Really finish it. Let's do it. <laughs> so Zeus sent uh, the evil band of titans to the depths of the sea so they couldn't torture people. Yep. That's good that he did that. <laughs> good job, guy. So this is another movie like Atlantis where all I see is the computer game in my head. Like, wow, we're watching yes. the movie. So in the computer game, I can see the movie version of the little pit that the titans are in but i can also see like the computer version game of the pit that the titans are in <laughs> that's me with the hydro part is yes. the game yeah oh my God. <laughs> it's like atlantis mm-hmm. like when i watch the movie atlantis i think of the computer game for no reason mm-hmm. So now we zoom up to Mount Olympus, where the gods are having a party to celebrate the birth of Hercules. And Zeus and Hera have their son, Hercules. Not even actually Hera's son, but... (laughs) Yeah, in real Greek mythology, it's not Hera's son. And they, Zeus and Hera, despise each other. Like, fully despise each other. It is a tumultuous relationship. They try to murder each other multiple times. All the gods are like that. Yeah, exactly. It's great. I want to live like the Greek gods, honestly. It's so messy. I love it. They're I mean, I kind of do, but (laughs) we won't talk about that. That's for my other podcast, Um, (laughs) The Revolving Door. No, I'm kidding. (laughs) Coming to you this fall. Oh, no. (laughs) <laughs> anyway so zeus gives hercules who is a tiny baby with a really big head and like a big red fro kind of <laughs> like a big red fro going on <laughs> a ginger king at birth we love it um so zeus gives hercules pegasus who is a flying horse made from clouds which and again this is just me being a nerd and fully knowing this In real Greek mythology, Pegasus was born from Medusa's decapitated head and is the baby (laughs) of Poseidon and Medusa. (laughs) And then Zeus is just like, put some fucking clouds and some cumulus and here's a freaking bird horse. (laughs) Not how it happened, but all right. (laughs) Also, isn't Pegasus just like the word for... Yeah, what he is. Oh, okay. (laughs) Like, I'm going to name my child human. (laughs) Our cats are named Cat. <laughs> I mean, that's your day. Right. So there's three of us. <laughs> we should name our next cat human. Okay. It only makes sense. I'm going to get another cat right now so we can do that. I don't <laughs> think so. So Zeus also gives Hercules a medal with the symbol of Mount Olympus on it, which is a cloud and a lightning bolt. So Hades comes to the party. I don't think he was invited. Yes, it's like a Maleficent situation here. Yeah, for real. Uh, And he's the god of the underworld. And he's really bitter because he's the god of the underworld, which honestly, it seems nice down there. It's dark and cold, I bet. I think the problem is, is that he it's like a full-time gig like everyone else can just kind of like fuck around whereas he like is constantly having to do stuff for the underworld and he's also the only one whereas all the other gods live on mount olympus together what's he doing dealing with the dead do you know how many people die in a second he, he has to deal with to all of do those anything though and it's just the greek people i'm pretty sure he doesn't have to deal with everybody else well it's busy work all right <laughs> you know you get a nice snuggie you get used to the smell of rotting souls i would imagine eventually (laughs) snuggle up watch some netflix love that i mean i'll take mount olympus over (laughs) underworld for sure but he gets a dog he does have a dog so there is that so hades goes back down to the underworlds uh he feeds his three-headed doggy hashtag dog mom And he meets up with Pain and Panic, who are his little imps, who are like 
my favorite things in the entire world. They're pretty good. They're very funny. Pain is always hurting himself and panic is constantly panicking. Me. And yeah, no. Tag Kat. yourself. I am literally panic. <laughs> I am also, I just showed Kat a bruise on the back of my leg that is like, <laughs> I have no idea how I even it's got it. Freaking huge too. <laughs> I'm very clumsy and I also always spill things all over myself. Mm-hmm. I am iconic. <laughs> So Pain and Panic meet up with Hades and they inform him that the fates have arrived to see Hades. They're going to have a little meeting. <laughs> so up in Hades like chambers. Throne room? I don't war- think he has it's a like throne. A ro- it's like it the is war like a war room. room. Yeah. Yeah. He's like plotting shit down there. It's you like a nice do. little cave with windows. It's gorgeous. Just, you know, look down into the river sticks, the sea of dead people. It's so beautiful. It's a good time. So Hades meets with the fates. There's three of them. They share an eyeball. Mm-hmm. Um, I love that for them. <laughs> and the fates are just out here killing people by holding up a thread of their life and then cutting the thread. Listen, you can to the end of your life sometimes it'd be like that yeah they are loving their job <laughs> yeah, they truly thrive they always say if you do what you love you'll never <laughs> work a day in your life <laughs> i think the fates have accomplished that love that for them also they can see into the future yeah they're fucking prophetic good for them yeah so hades wants to know what's up with this hercules kid <laughs> so The prophecy is that Hades will release all of the Titans once all of the planets align. and In 18 years. Yes. And he will defeat Zeus. However, if Hercules fights Hades, then Hades will fail. We got to we got to keep Herc down. Yeah. So obviously Hercules is the baby of two gods. So he is immortal. So Hades plan is to make him mortal and then murder him. Yeah, the little ginger fro baby. Tiny little baby. He has no soul. Well, he has a lot of souls. I was going to say, I think he has plenty of those. He has endless souls. (laughs) Just not one for himself. It'd be like that. So pain and panic kidnap Hercules from Mount Olympus where all the fucking gods live. Do they not like have like ADT? Like, I don't understand. There's no <laughs> like, ring cam. I don't understand. No baby <laughs> monitor. We can't get an apple tag on here on Hercules. Like, not an apple tag. <laughs> how on earth did pain and panic, who are imps, literally <laughs> kidnap a god baby? Yeah. I would like to know. I have questions. I think their hubris, you know, made it to where they didn't think that anyone would ever do something like that. I guess so. And so it was super easy to do. So pain and panic take Hercules down to Earth. (laughs) Yeah. Greece. (laughs) Greece specifically. (laughs) They couldn't take him anywhere else. (laughs) And they give Hercules the potion But they get scared by some farmers and they drop the bottle and the tiniest little bit of the potion doesn't get drank drunk by baby Hercules. Mm -hmm. Is it drank? Drunk? I think either one is right. I don't think anyway. (laughs) (laughs) So pain and panic turn into snakes to try and kill mortal Hercules. But because he didn't drink that last drop, he still has some of his super strength. So he chokes the fuck out of them, which is an homage to when Hera in Greek mythology sends two snakes to murder baby Hercules. Fun facts. Yeah, I think Hera was actually behind it the whole time. I actually think Hera and Hades got a little something going on on the side. You know what I mean? I mean, honestly, knowing Greek mythology, possibly. (laughs) (laughs) I like how everybody in this movie, like Hera and Hercules' earth mom, they all have like these head wraps (laughs) and then like tufts of their hair like poking out out of the top. (laughs) I think we should bring that back. Honestly. We're going to make it happen. I want to wear that and a toga and I want to live my best life. You know, in like school when it's like around Christmas and everyone dresses like a who and they use the freaking soda bottles. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you never seen people do that where they put a soda bottle in their hair to look like Cindy Lou Who? Who? Whose children are doing this? I've seen it a lot. I would love to see that. No, I don't want to see it now. <laughs> put your put your phone down. No, it's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. You like put your hair around a soda bottle and put the hair tie on the top so your hair looks like Cindy Lou Who. Okay, bet. <laughs> anyway. anyway. <laughs> 
So, yeah, Hercules chokes the snakes out and throws them far, far away. And the farmers decide to take baby Hercules in because they have always wanted a child. Yeah, they think he's a gift from the gods because Hercules has the metal medallion, whatever thing around his neck. Hercules gets stronger and stronger every day as he grows up. And now he is a teenage Hercules And he goes to town with his pop. As soon as they get to the town center, literally everyone walks away from Hercules. Yeah, these nerd ass kids won't even let Herc play with them. Yeah, they're playing Frisbee or I guess discus. Nobody likes Hercules. He's a menace to society. (laughs) He doesn't know his own strength, basically. I think he's just breaking shit a lot, to be honest. They call him Jerkules. Yeah, which like he's not a jerk because jerks are like, He's not a, I don't know. He's not doing it like on purpose. Yeah. He just wants friends. <laughs> <laughs> his only friend is his family's pet donkey. Who actually still hates him. Penelope no, hates that's him. that's true. <laughs> You're right. She just can't express her feelings. <laughs> she rolls her eyes at him. I think she expresses it pretty well. <laughs> so the dude bros are throwing their discus and it gets hurtled towards our good pal Hercules and he catches it, but he's so strong he knocks down a column by slamming into it, catching the discus. Yeah, and then the entire building falls down yeah he knocks down an entire like shopping center (laughs) a strip mall (laughs) literally an ancient grecian strip mall (laughs) gets knocked to the ground because of hercules he just wants to play discus everyone is really mad at him even more than they were when he just literally walked into town (laughs) his dad is so sweet he's like trying to console him and everything yeah it's so sweet yeah and then hercules says that he always felt like he didn't belong here and he was like supposed to be somewhere else So Hercules sings his emo ballad about going the distance. A bop. A full bop. So Hercules is at home with mom and dad and they... Um, Ma and Pop call them by their respective names. (laughs) (laughs) So Hercules is at home with Ma and Pop. Thank you. And they tell him that he's from the gods uh, and that when they found him, he had the medal of Mount Olympus around his little cutie baby neck. Hercules decides he's going to go to the temple of Zeus to find some answers. Yeah, so Hercules gets to uh, Zeus's temple and he's praying to him for answers. And Zeus's giant ass statue wakes up and becomes horrifying. I would, (laughs) Hercules screams and I probably would have to. This giant stone man picks Hercules up in his hand and is like, I'm your dad. (laughs) Okay, great. So Zeus possesses his own statue and he tells Hercules that he's a demigod. Also, he's Zeus and Hera's son. And Hercules is like, the fuck am I doing down here on Earth? (laughs) And he explains that they left him there on Earth because he is mortal. He can become immortal, but he has to prove himself. So he should seek out Philadelphia. Titis, who is a hero trainer for hero training. Yeah, he has to become <laughs> a true hero and he will get his godliness back. I put godlyhood. Ooh, <laughs> godlyhood. His godnessness. His godnessness. <laughs> And then if he becomes a true hero, he could become a god again. And then he can go back to Mount Olympus and live in a cloud bed. Yay. And then Zeus calls for Pegasus, who even though Hercules is only a day old when he was stolen, remembers Pegasus somehow. Maybe it's the god brain. I think it was the headbutt. Oh, sure. Because they did a headbutt at birth and then they did a headbutt again in the temple. I don't remember a single thing from the day I was born. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I don't think that's facts. <laughs> yeah, but you're not a demigod. So that's fair. Yeah. So Zeus re-gifts <laughs> Pegasus to Hercules and then they head to find Philatites, who goes by Phil. So Pegasus and Hercules find Phil and he is on an island spying on some nymphs. Um, It's 2022 and we have to talk about Phil. Mm hmm. He's He's problematic. (laughs) He's very problematic. Phil is canceled. He's chasing these nymphs around the woods. They don't want to be chased. Mm -hmm. He needs to leave them the actual fuck alone. He's literally spying on them. He's a peeping Tom. A peeping Phil, if you will. It's not funny anymore, Phil. 
you can't do that in 2022. It wasn't fine then and it's not fine now. It's like extra not fine now. But anyway, <laughs> Phil is a satyr that is voiced by Danny DeVito and looks like a satyr version of Danny DeVito. <laughs> so Hercules begs Phil to train him and Hercules tells Phil that Zeus is his father and Phil doesn't believe him until Zeus electrocutes him. And then Phil is like, oh, I guess you're telling the truth yeah phil was a hero trainer and he trained people like jason and achilles who all failed him jason (laughs) just jason (laughs) yeah (laughs) can we say his whole title (laughs) oh my god yeah jason and the argonauts yeah i feel like if people don't know that then (laughs) you know jason (laughs) jason and achilles best friends so Phil and Hercules and Pegasus get the training grounds together and Hercules starts his hero training. He gets a sweat band and (laughs) over some time he gets fucking jacked. Yeah. And this is where Phil is singing one last hope about how Hercules could possibly be the last hope he has to have a true hero. Yeah. A bop again. There's so many. This whole movie is just full of bops. It truly is. Just churning them out. Yeah. Churning them out. (laughs) So after Herc finishes his training, he honestly has zero life experience now. He's kind of not doing well socially. (laughs) Yeah. He's had four friends in his lifetime, mommy and daddy, and then Phil, who we just discussed is a pervert. And then a bird horse. And a bird horse. (laughs) That doesn't talk. He's really thriving out here. (laughs) Truly. A1. So Phil says that he is going to take Herc to Thebes so he can get some real hero experience because Thebes is just full of freaking problems. And on their way to Thebes, they hear a DID scream. A damsel in distress. (laughs) Yep. So they go down to save the damsel and there's a woman being harassed by a centaur in a river. Nessus. (laughs) Nessus. <laughs> yeah, he is the river guardian. Herc tries to save this woman who is named Megara and kind of makes an ass of himself. He doesn't really do that well. He eventually gets the job done. Yeah, he eventually kicks the centaur's ass and he is now enamored by Meg, who is voiced by Susan Egan, who is also the original Belle on Broadway. And she is a freaking Disney legend. She is an icon. I love Susan Egan. So after beating up Nessus, Hercules checks on the damsel in distress, who is Megara or Meg for short, and she tells him that she's fine and she saunters off into the woods. And then Hercules is totally in love with her, (laughs) but Hercules and Phil get on old Pegasus and they fly off to Thebes. In the woods, Meg runs into pain and panic and Hades and Hades wants to know what happened with the centaur Nessus and she tells Hades about Hercules. Hercules, who pain and panic were supposed to kill 18 years ago. Yeah, Hades gets a little mad. He gets a lot mad Mm -hmm. and his hair is fire. So he gets like fiery, flamey. Yeah. That'd be fun if every time you got mad, you can just set shit on fire. Right? That'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, his hair is blue which is like the hottest of hot flames already that's true when he gets angry it goes orange i think it's just because it spreads out yeah (laughs) that's fair this is our scientific theory of hades's hair i'm smart but i'm stupid (laughs) (laughs) i'm gay but i'm straight (laughs) i ain't crap dusted whole foods baby baby. if you're You're on tiktok (laughs) that made no sense to you (laughs) Mm. Sorry about it. (laughs) So pain and panic are in big trouble because they were supposed to kill Hercules and Hades is really mad. But at least Hercules is mortal, so they can still kill him. But not only did they not kill him, they also didn't tell Hades that they didn't kill him. Yeah. So double fail. (laughs) (laughs) They are not good imps. No. So Hercules and Phil and Pegasus make it to the big olive. <laughs> it kills me every time. Instead of the big <laughs> apple, it's the big olive. Dun-dun-ch. <laughs> uh, the city of Thebes. And a group of people are complaining about Thebes in the town center. There's earthquakes and floods and fire. They're really doing great. Thebes is not well. No. There's like the poor, there's a poor cat and the cat is snowball. Snowball's on fire, y'all. <laughs> snowball just got rescued from a fire. 
So Hercules walks over and introduces himself and the townspeople laugh at him. And one lady says that they need a professional and not an amateur. And she's pretty pretentious for somebody who I'm assuming is homeless because (laughs) her house just got burnt down in a fire. So I would like her to take her comments back now. Thank you very much. She does have the hair poofing out of the, the wrap true though, which She's i i like latest fashions <laughs> the latest she may be fashion. homeless but she is part of the latest fashion I think that's the last outfit she owns though so she should shut the fuck up true and then there's um one of the men harasses phil and congratulates him on achilles and says good job on that last hero you had and phil um attacks the man beats the shit out of him i mean I would too, but <laughs> that's just me <laughs> he's got a temper that one mm-hmm Meg comes running into the city center and she sees Hercules. Wow, crazy. That's crazy that they just met. And now she's like running into the town center and finding him. Like, how did she get to Thebes? So she comes running over to Hercules and she tells him that two little boys are trapped in a gorge because there was a rock slide. Mm -hmm. So Hercules finds the boys and he lifts up a huge boulder and lets the boys out. Ma'am, you are not going to skip over the my favorite line in this movie when they say, somebody call IXII, which is 911 in <laughs> Roman numbers. I know, that is pretty it's funny. It's so funny. What if I got an IXII tattoo and if people are like, oh, what's that? I'll be like, oh, it's my son's birthday. Let's go. <laughs> We're doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so he saves the kids. Also, this gorge is literally an arena. It's like an amphitheater. <laughs> yeah, what the? Okay, Call whatever. It what you want. <laughs> so Hercules saves the children, uh, who just happen to be pain and panic, pretending to be little human children. And Hades is watching the whole thing, and he is very excited for what is to happen next. So behind the boulder is a cave, and from inside the cave, a monster growls at her. Hercules and out pops the Hydra, which is like a big ass dragon with a long neck and sharp teeth. Yeah, it's like a giant serpenty thing. So Hercules gets swallowed by the Hydra very quickly. <laughs> um, but he chops off his head from inside of his body, and then three more heads grow out of the severed neck. Mm-hmm. So that didn't go great. No. Uh, Now on the back of Pegasus, Hercules is slicing off all the Hydra heads and three more grow from every hole. So I don't know why he keeps trying that approach. Yeah. At one point, Phil even says, stop with the head cutting thing. (laughs) Yeah. So Hercules is in the clutches of the Hydra and he smashes the cliffside and boulders crush the Hydra and all of its heads. And poor Hercules. So he gets crushed in the Hydra's hand, but he lives. (gasps) So the Hydra is dead. Hercules wins. The town people are clapping. Hades is pissed. (laughs) Meg is impressed. Mm -hmm. Pain and Panic are scared. And the muses sing of Hercules' triumphs and riches. They're the hero just like that. So Hercules is rich as fuck now. He lives in a giant mansion. And Hades is fuming because... Payne is wearing Hercules's Air Herx, <laughs> which I still want a pair of. And then Panic is drinking from a Hercules cup. Which we did have. We did have that. <laughs> so Hades decides that he's going to send Meg to find out what Hercules' weakness is. Because everybody has a weakness. Yeah, Hades talks about how Meg came to work for Hades. She sold her soul to save her boyfriend and the boyfriend still left her for another woman because men are trash. But we fully well already knew that. <laughs> yeah. Hades says if Meg can figure out Hercules's weakness, then he will release her from her debt to him. I mean, sounds, sounds like, like a plan. A, yeah, <laughs> sounds like a winning situation there. Let's do it. So Hercules is chatting with Zeus at the temple of Zeus and he wants to go back to Mount Olympus, but he's not a true hero yet, according to Zeus. Yeah, Zeus says you're just famous. You're not a true hero yet. Yeah, rich and famous, a god does not make, apparently. Mm -mm, mm -mm. (laughs) I'll be the judge of that. No, I'm kidding. (laughs) (laughs) And then later on at Hercules' giant Grecian mansion... Um, there are women climbing the gates. Hercules is being painted for a vase and he is wearing Scar's skinned body. (laughs) 
It's a bit much. It's a bit graphic. Yeah. That, yeah. Not a fan. I mean, Scar is a bad guy, though. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. So <laughs> <laughs> he rips the dead body of Scar off of him and says that uh, all of this stuff they're doing just to be rich and famous isn't getting them anywhere. Like he's not going to become a true hero doing what they're currently doing. Then a bunch of women break into the mansion <laughs> and Phil gets them out by tricking them while Hercules hides. And then Phil does some more creepy shit and chases after them. Like they're like 19, Phil. Mm -hmm. It's it's a no. Yeah, it's a no for me, dog. Cut it out. Not a fan. Phil is canceled. Sorry. Yeah. Gross old man. Hercules is hiding from the girls and meg comes into the mansion again no security here it's just like mount olympus come on in take whatever you want take hercules sweatbands like again he's a hero so it's the hubris of who is going to try and steal from hercules a bunch of 19 year old girls apparently i don't think they want to steal from him i think they just want him so meg is talking to Hercules and they decide to play hooky for the day and they get some yummy foods and they go see a play. They go see Oedipus to be exact. <laughs> and then they're strolling around a beautiful Grecian garden at night. And Meg asks Hercules if he has any weaknesses. She like trips and falls and says that she has weak ankles. Hercules is like, no, I'm basically perfect. Uh, nothing really that I can think of. They sit and they just have like a little romantic chat because Meg is like, people are evil and they hurt other people. And Hercules is like, I would never hurt you, Meg. Yeah, she calls people petty and dishonest. And he says, you're not like that, even though she is, though. She is. It's not her fault, but... She's like doing to, to save herself, you know? Yeah, I guess. And then while they're having this conversation, Meg backs into Cupid's arrow. Very cute. I know. I love that part. <laughs> Very cute. So Phil breaks up their little romantic night and takes Hercules back on Pegasus. And then Meg sings another absolute rager. Yeah, this is one of my favorite songs in the whole movie. I won't say I'm in love. The muses are in the background singing background vocals killing it killing it out here as phil and hercules are taking off on pegasus phil actually gets knocked off pegasus so he's still like chilling in the bushes in the garden and when he comes to he hears meg talking to hades he only overhears part of the conversation so meg is saying that yes i do work for you hades and that's what phil hears and he runs off to go snitch and then she continues the sentence by saying but i won't hurt hercules so phil get your shit together you ruined everything so meg says that Hercules doesn't have any weaknesses, but then Hades realizes that Meg is Hercules' weakness. Exactly. Dun, dun, dun. Back at the old Hercules mansion. <laughs> <laughs> On his, like, training grounds. <laughs> He's at the track. Because <laughs> he has a track <laughs> at his mansion. Imagine. Probably next to the tennis court. <laughs> Do you think they played tennis in ancient Greece? I don't know. <laughs> discus court <laughs> perfect now that he can play <laughs> yeah with his tons of friends he has himself not. <laughs> so back at the mansion hercules is training and hercules won't listen to phil about meg being bad and working with hades so phil leaves First of all, Hercules punches Phil <laughs> and then <laughs> Phil leaves. So yeah, that's important. I think that's fair. <laughs> and while they're arguing, there's a lady Pegasus all sexy and shit that distracts Pegasus into <laughs> oh, lady Pegasus <laughs> into the barn where it's actually just pain and panic and they tie up Pegasus so he can't help Hercules. <laughs> so Hades pops up and is talking to Hercules and he strikes up a deal with him that basically Hercules has to give up his strength for 24 hours in order to save Meg's life. In that 24 hour period, Meg cannot be harmed mm -hmm. in any way, shape or form or the deal is broken. Right. So Hercules agrees to this. And then Hades reveals the fact that Meg has been working for Hades the whole time. Therefore, 
breaking poor Hercules's heart. Poor boy. I know. Hercules is pretty sure that shit's going to go down. He's like, people are going to get hurt, aren't they? And Hades is like, uh, not Meg, though. So. <laughs> so it's fine. Think about that, brother. <laughs> so the planets all align and Hades is able to free the Titans from their prison and he sets them off to destroy Zeus, except for one of them that Hades tells to go after Hercules and Thebes. And it's a giant... And when I say giant, I mean a giant Cyclops. He's so cute. That's a big boy. He's got a lot of like lumpy rolls. Mm -hmm. He looks like a like a pile of dough. He looks like Play-Doh for real. I love him. Yeah. And then there's like a lava man. An ice dude. An ice an ice king. <laughs> what are the other ones? Wind. Oh yeah, there's like a tornado. And then there's the other one's earth, because they're all like earth, wind, fire. There's four of the main ones, and then there's the Fifth one is the Cyclops. Oh, he just is rocks. That's why <laughs> he literally. Oh, I see him now. He's just a pile of rocks. Yeah, he's Earth. I think the ice dude is cool. And they all have like different little, like they all say stuff as they're going. They're like, freeze Zeus, melt him, blow him away, crush him. Oh, there's Pyros and Hydros, Stratos and Lithos. Yeah, in like actual Greek mythology, though, they weren't based on the elements. And then there's the Cyclops. <laughs> Love that for him. His name is Argus. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. So the Cyclops is going after Hercules and Thebes, even though Hercules does not have any strength. He's kicking him like a hacky sack is what he's doing. On his butt rolls, on his <laughs> leg rolls, on his little feet. He's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Mm-hmm. So Meg finds Pegasus and releases him and then she flies to find Phil to ask for help. She convinces Phil. Yeah, Phil does not want to help but then Meg is like, well Hercules is going to die. So. And other people are going to get hurt also. So. I guess that matters too. Other, yeah. <laughs> worry about, you know, the Thebes people I guess. I guess. Losers. So Phil talks to Hercules at the training grounds where Cyclops is beating him up. Hercules looks like the nastiest shade of like pale white yellow <laughs> like, he looks beat the fuck up he looks really bad <laughs> and during all of this too all of the gods have been captured by the titans at this point like zeus has been at all of them they've all been captured they are useless at this Aren't point the gods even trying they got a baby snatched from them no they, they that's what i'm saying they have like hubris like they don't think that anything bad will ever happen to them so they don't even try to like protect themselves because who's gonna attack the gods it's such minimal effort on their part though i just think they could try a little bit harder nah so hercules is like you know what i don't need my strength to be a hero and he gets his shit together. He gets a rope and he trips the Cyclops to the ground. After the Cyclops falls off of a cliff, which I don't know if that would kill him, but I guess it does. A pillar almost falls on Hercules and Meg shoves Hercules out of the way so that the pillar won't fall on him and kill him. And it falls on her instead, which breaks Hades' deal and Hercules gets his strength back because she's kind of dying now. <laughs> yeah, if Meg gets hurt, the deal is off. So Hercules picks up the pillar with his strength that he just got back and meg is straight up uh dying i'm sure there's some internal bleeding going on some broken she ribs. looks great there's no <laughs> external damage but yeah right <laughs> she looks like a million bucks <laughs> but internally i think her, <laughs> her ribs have entered like all of her organs yeah <laughs> you know what i mean have fully collapsed <laughs> Lots of internal bleeding. <laughs> I don't even know if her heart is in her chest anymore. <laughs> Not really sure how she even made it to tell Hercules, like, go save everybody. Yeah, no. I love you. People do crazy things when they're in love. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 was choking up blood, just like spewing blood. <laughs> That's in the extended version. If you guys haven't, <laughs> it's really great. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen it, it's the director's cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're Disney Plus. <laughs> they're going to add that mature content on there now. <laughs> Meg's spewing blood. <laughs> the rib is fully out of her body. <laughs> she looks great. <laughs> 
Oh, she looks good. Her gloss is on fleek. Gloss on fleek. Anywho, Hercules then goes up to Mount Olympus to cut the chains holding all of the gods. And Hercules and Zeus fight off all of the titans. Hercules throws them into space and then they're gone. He should have done that in the first place. Yeah. Instead so, of putting them in a cage underwater. I didn't know that was an option. <laughs> Outer space was an option the first time? Come on, Zeus. Should have done that. So then Hades is running with his tail tucked between his legs, but he makes a parting shot to Hercules saying that his consolation prize is the fact that um, he now owns Meg's soul fully because she's dead. So <laughs> honestly, two things. Hades has the dopest chariot like ever. Truly. It's honestly super sick. And then her Hermes is an icon and should be celebrated every month of the year. <laughs> Just wanted to point those two things out. Okay, great. <laughs> So Hercules goes back to Earth where Meg's body is just laying there decaying. <laughs> and Phil says that there's some things you can't change. And Hercules is like, mm, nope, I'm going to go down to the underworld and I'm going to save her soul. Yeah. So the fates have already cut her life thread. So she's definitely a goner and her soul is headed to the river Styx mm -hmm. to be there for eternity. Hercules is chit chatting with Hades he rides his own dog into his throne room. Like, yeah. <laughs> just takes Cerberus and is like, come on, friend. And rides him <laughs> into his, like, dog dad's fucking throne room. <laughs> Hades is like, dang, even my dog's like Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. You know when you don't like somebody, but your, like, animal does? That's the worst feeling. It's very irritating. Because you're like, I thought you had better taste than that. What the yeah, fuck? For real. <laughs> for real. Get it together. <laughs> <laughs> There's no worse feeling. So Hercules talks to Hades and he trades his life for Meg's life. And Hades is like the life of my mortal nemesis's child. child. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Versus a, a lowly human woman. All right. Bet. But also yeah. he doesn't think that Herc will make it to save her soul because the river sticks literally sucks the life out of you in seconds. Yeah. Hercules jumps in to save Meg's soul and the fates go to cut his life thread thing, <laughs> but it won't cut because now it's all shiny and golden. And do you want to know why? Because Hercules has proven himself a true hero and now he gets to be a god again. Yeah, Boom. he sacrificed himself for Meg's life. A true hero. That's so freaking heroic, bro. So unselfish. So Hercules gets Meg's soul and he he returns it to her body and she's fine now i guess the broken ribs and shit just are heal <laughs> yeah she's doing great they're fine now and <laughs> hercules takes meg up to mount olympus because he's a god again he's proven himself worthy why did he bring her I just don't understand. He just like brings Meg to Mount Olympus with yeah. him and she just stands there. How is she supposed to get back down? <laughs> <laughs> like, is she supposed to just jump off the cloud and hope for the best? Like, what are we doing here? Oh, man. <laughs> So on Mount Olympus, Zeus is like super jazzed. He's like, yay, my son is back. And Hercules is like, no, I'm actually going to go back to Earth with a Meg because she's really hot. That's fair. And Zeus is like, OK, bet. And that's does, the end. <laughs> but does he get to keep like his strength and stuff like he had before? Like, can he still be a hero like he was before? I think he chose a mortal life, which honestly, not a great choice. I mean, Meg has already proven she cannot make good decisions. <laughs> So I mean, so is Herc, to be fair. That is also true. I don't know if they deserve each other or... I mean, I'm happy for them. Good for them. <laughs> Loving that for them. So then the movie ends with A Star is Born. And, a Star is Born. And Hercules is up in the stars. He becomes a constellation. And it's Phil's boy, which is... All that Phil's dream was, was he wanted one of his heroes to be written in the stars. Yay! Cute! Oh man, what a good movie. I'm ready when you are. Go! I gave Hercules a 10 out of 10. Wow! Um, the only issue I have is that Phil is now canceled in 2022. We have to accept that fact, but it, let mm -hmm. it be known. I am aware of that. I still give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Same. It's such a good movie. Yeah. I love the colors and the songs and a ginger king. And Meg is like 
the baddest bitch. All the muses are bad bitches. I love Greek mythology. So this is my number two. It is under Whoa. Hunchback of Notre Dame. Under Hunchback of Notre Dame, but above Sleeping Beauty. Hercules is one of my god tier movies. No pun intended. I knew it was high for you, but I didn't think it would be number two. Wow. I love Hercules. I love that for you. I watch this movie all the time. When we went to go play it, it was... It was like <laughs> at the end of the movie. <laughs> and it was just like resume and add zero minutes left. <laughs> I watch it all the time. I love Hercules. Thank you, Hannah. Best pick ever. Woo! So shockingly i also gave hercules a 10 out of 10 what? <laughs> this one ranks pretty high for me too i am the biggest fan of greek mythology i literally love greek mythology so much like the amount of books that i read currently that are like based on greek mythology is stupid but i love the songs i like you said i love the colors and music I, the storyline it's just so good um mine is at number eight so mine is underneath frozen but above the princess diaries we are going to do another patreon episode Ooh. so if you would like your own episode of our show dedicated to a movie of your choosing mm -hmm. you can join us on patreon the link is in the show notes the measly five dollars a month and you can support us and get some more content is very cool absolutely so drum roll please Fantasia. <gasps> we were just talking about this movie. Yes. I love Fantasia. This is Jason's pick. Oh, it's Jason's pick. Jason. We love Jason. His first choice was Lion King, but, but we had already done that. That was our March Madness mm -hmm. winner last year. So March Madness is still going on over on our Instagram. Yeah. And I'm actually like pretty surprised by what the winners are. Yeah. What the heck, you guys? Cheetah Girls is already out. What the fuck? Yeah. Kat thought Cheetah Girls was going to go all the way. And it didn't even make it at the end of round two. My pick is still in. My pick is Xenon. Xenon. And it's still in the running. I think it's going to win. Xenon was my second choice. So don't let us down. We'll see what happens. Woo. But yeah, Lion King was our winner for March Madness in 2021. So we did 90s movies. That mm -hmm. was the theme last year. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Fantasia. This will be a very interesting episode. I know, right? I feel like we're going to have to like delve deep into like the information behind all of it, you know? Yeah, like all the Tchaikovsky. You had it right Tchaikovsky. halfway through there. Tchaikovsky. 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 <laughs> yeah. The Tchaikovsky of it all. Uh, there's I no P. Like, there's no B in there. Tchaikovsky. There's no Chikop B. Chikop's T. It's an F. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. <laughs> you're stressing. I'm sweating already and you're really stressing me out here. <laughs> That's going to be the whole episode. Me just trying to pronounce uh, names. I'm just kidding. So normal. <laughs> <laughs> How is it different? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I Fantasia is such a good one. Ooh. I also love Yen Sid, but I love all wizards and we are all aware of this fact. So Yeah, Melissa has a tattoo that is very much similar to Yen Sid. It does kind of look like old Yen Sid. Mm -hmm. uh, all of our socials are linked in the show notes. And yes, participate in our Instagram polls. Join us on Patreon for bonus content. Follow our TikTok and our Instagram and our Twitter. And now Twitch. Yes. Twitch is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. Our Twitch again is Van Girls. You know what? I'll link it this one time in the mm -hmm. show notes. I won't like badger you guys about <laughs> it or anything, but I'll put it in the show notes on this episode. You'll get to see our faces. Yeah. Give us a follow if you like Twitch. It'll be a good time. Okay, bye. Bye. These opinions are our own and are in no way associated with the film or the film's production company. The cover art for Tragical was created by Johnny the Alchemist. The theme song for Tragical was produced by Ja Reezy. Contact info for both artists can be found on their Instagrams, which are linked in the show notes. Thanks for listening to Tragical. I crop dust in <laughs> Whole Foods, baby. Oh, it's I crop dust in Whole Foods? Or crop dusted Whole Foods. <laughs> I thought it was crop dusted. <laughs> like the whole story. <laughs> I thought it was crop dust I don't in know Whole Foods. Either way, it's iconic. Okay, here we go into ancient. I, I have to stop singing. <laughs> Welcome to the outtakes. <laughs> please, please stop. Make it stop. So, Haiti pops up. Mm, Haiti? <laughs> Haiti. <laughs> Just one this time. <laughs> Just the one Hades. Just Haiti. <laughs>
Is there multiple of him? Is he plural? <laughs> a singular Haiti. <laughs> Hercule and Haiti. <laughs> Bella Tite. <laughs> Pegasus. <laughs> Pegasus. <laughs> Throw up. Zoo. <laughs> zoo. <laughs> the way you said it, zoo. <laughs> anyway. And he trips the Cyclops. Mm -hmm. The Cyclops. <laughs> the what? <laughs> the Cyclops. After the Cyclops. Oh my god, now I said it <laughs> because you Cyclops. said it. I'm smart, but I'm stupid. I'm gay, but I'm straight. I dropped out the Whole Foods, baby! <laughs> Tragical. <laughs>